So, I mean, you guys, uh, Closure Moscow, you always been a band I myself have looked up, like, looked up to being in a band, and then other bands have looked up to you the same way as in a band where, which is in a place where you want to be. You know, you, you had a record deal, you were touring, making killer music. Um, but how does it actually look behind the scenes being a band at your level? Like, what's the sacrifices you have to make to make the whole machine, for lack of a better wor a word, work? You know, how, how does it look? Yeah. Man, it's funny you said machine, hey? Because I, <laughs> I literally call it the machine. And even to be considered along, like, even to be considered by someone as, like, great guitarists or great musicians or a great band is just, just blows my mind, man. Like, like in, in my reality tunnel, like, we're just five friends in Melbourne, Australia, that love playing music. And then all of a sudden we have interest from international labels that want to sign us after and, and then next thing you know we're in america and we're touring and then we're in europe and then we're in asia and then we're back again and we're on this we're part of the machine in all of a sudden you're in this watching machine going like what the fuck is going on like, i think we have a, the like and purest form i guess of expression like i love playing we love playing shows with people because the crowd gives you energy you give them energy and you're dripping and hot and sweaty and you just feel it and for that one hour or hour and a half of the show you really connect with people so mm. but before we got to that there was a it's a lot of sacrifices man mm -hmm. and it's interesting you've, you've sort of asked that you've asked me that because i, I was I had a chat was, my my best friend stays our old drummer Bo McKee, and um i was we were just chatting just the other day just about uh because he's he's a record producer in melbourne and he's 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 kicking absolute goals, man. He's, he's working with some amazing bands. And he they were having a question about just like the sacrifices that they've been making. We were discussing the same thing. So and so it's a lot of sacrifice, man. It's a lot of it's a lot of family get togethers missed. A lot of girlfriend and partners get togethers missed. There's a lot of time in the studio. There's a lot of writing. There's a lot of like honing your craft affecting your craft. It's like, can you play it live? Can you play it clean live? If someone was to record your set, would you be happy with the recording or would you be like, oh, does that information, if the sound guy says we want to record your set in a live event, does that change your perspective? Does that change your, you go, oh, if so, fix it. So there's a, there's a lot of input. It's not just, it wasn't just we wrote this album and it went absolutely gangbusters. There's a lot of work behind the scenes. And before we, we got wrecked by uh, labels, there was a lot of burning out CD you know, mm -hmm. onto a blank disc with the with the the sharpie on the marker and mailing it out to all these different labels everywhere and trying to get it on the radio and going to shows and networking and all this sort of stuff. So there's there's a lot there's that too. So when you talk the machine, that's I, I feel like there's this one gargantuan machine mm -hmm. that is record labels and and major labels that, and that's a whole palaver of else but mm. before you can get to that there's, there's little bit there's small things you have to do in order to get there mm -hmm. and we and, and like on the local level so i think we're very fortunate that we really connected on a local level and in turn this was through the myspace days so right. you know <laughs> we did really well through myspace you know and um and all of a sudden you can you've got this platform to connect to people and we would like bo and i would type to people and chat to people and like hey man like you like music too what kind of bands are you into what are you listening to and these people would then come out to shows. They'd bring their friends, and all of a sudden, they're buying T-shirts. They're buying other things. So we had this kind of local uh, sort of uh, following hmm. that made it very easy for uh, international labels to come out and uh, to our EP launch to see it live, see the connection, see the energy in the room, and go, "Oh wow!" and present us with offers. Now, in hindsight. I wouldn't take the deal, right. to be honest. I, I really don't. I don't. I really don't think in in this day and age you need a record label per se. Sure. Like, I, I, I think back then you, we can't. You kind of did. I think we were the last, the last generation of bands that right. really sort of needed a label to sort of push them. Hmm. Um, you definitely don't need that these days. I mean, you've got SoundCloud, you've got Bandcamp, you've got. Mm -hmm. I mean, you've got a, a, a plethora of of social media that you can that you can uh, exploit without a label. 
Exactly. Yeah. You know, and, I, and I say that to artists all the time, and I say, stay independent. Mm -hmm. Stay independent. Mm -hmm. Don't sell your merch. Mm -hmm. Don't sell your rights. Don't sell your publishing. And if you're going to sell your publishing or, or, or your uh, licensing tour, make sure you get rock solid money because right. that's the other side of the business. Because mm -hmm. we sort of left the local scene and we came into like bigger labels and major label scenes. And now you're sitting on tables with A&R guys and people from the label and all. Oh, here we go. Ryan Wally, the guy. Uh, Tom Wallis from you and now they're telling you how to change your music because they want you to write the, your first album again, make first right. temple two. Right, like, right. Whoa, whoa, like you know what I mean? Because money's involved now, and people are kind of like, and it, it just dilutes the artistry of it. So there's, sure. there's that too, but that's the other machine. 